Hello, uh, in this video I want to show how we can uh, download Google Fonts uh, to a computer and then upload them to the server uh, so that the fonts are loaded directly from the server on which the website is hosted rather than from Google's server. Okay, so this is a test site in which Genesis Sample is the active child theme. And uh, let's say I want to use Roboto Google font uh, for the headings, entry headings. Uh, let's first go to the Google fonts website. And do a search for Roboto. And click on add to collection. And then click on quick use and then click on the download icon and then click on the link to download the zip file having the fonts extract the zip file go inside the folder and then select the font that you would like to load so in this case I want to use uh, Roboto Bold okay identify that then do a Google search for Fonts Squirrel Generator. Click on Upload Fonts and then drag the TTF file or select the TTF file that you would like to use. then tick this box that says yes the fonts I'm uploading are legally eligible for web embedding and then click the download button and then extract the zip file go inside the folder and then look at all the font files that have the extension of EOT SVG TTF, WAF, and WAF2, and then upload these to your active themes uh, directory inside a folder called fonts. So I'm going to go inside WP content, themes, Genesis sample. Uh, in this case, you can see I already have a directory called fonts. So I'm just going to delete the existing files because I no longer want to use them but uh, you probably most probably will not have this fonts directory so you would need to just create that uh, once you do that just upload these font files okay so while that is happening you can open up the stylesheet.css file and then copy the css that is present here and then put that in your themes style.css near the beginning uh, like this uh, since we placed all the fonts inside the fonts directory we gotta uh, add that uh, to the path like like this okay so let's just save that once we do that you can copy the font family line go back to your website reload <coughs> So this would be entry title. So I'm going to just do a test right here to see if this is working. Yep, it works. So I just uh, pasted that font family line for entry title and you can see that it's taking that uh, font family. So if you want to use a uh, different font weight we just need to upload uh, the corresponding files so for example let's say you want to use uh, 
Roberto Roboto regular. Uh, just repeat the process. Go back to the font squirrel generator, web font generator, and then upload the stdf file and then you're gonna get a zip file which when you extract should give you a bunch of uh, files having different extensions like this you just upload all these to the fonts directory of your uh, server and uh, you know open up the style.css uh, stylesheet.css code copy that put it in your style sheet at the, near the top and ensure that you have added the fonts to the URLs because we have placed the files inside a fonts directory and after that uh, you just need to use this particular line to apply the font family uh, to whichever selector you want to use okay that's it hope you find this helpful